Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 13th episode in our Facebook Live series for the Midwest Digital Marketing Conference, where we sit down and chat with some of our awesome speakers that will be at the conference. Um, and today I'm really excited because we have Kate Garofalini with us. She is the Overseas Direct to Consumer Health and Wellness Technology at Johnson & Johnson, which sounds really cool, um, which is grounded in the science of behavior change, improving health outcomes comes and through early invention. Uh, she focuses on building a holistic end-to-end -end model that will drive innovation, speed to market, and customer satisfaction. I'm really excited to talk to Kate today. Welcome, Kate. Hey, welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Brianna. Awesome. I'm super excited. Same. I'm very excited <laughs> to have you here. Can you tell us a little bit more about um, yourself and what you do um, in your role at Johnson & Johnson? Yeah, of course. So I actually, um, oh, since this time, have also moved uh, to a new role within Vision Care, um, one of our largest uh, consumer med tech brands as well, but doing a very similar role. Um, so I am essentially what we call a, a business technology leader. And to what you had said earlier, I'm working um, on the technology team across sectors um, essentially investing in these end-to-end -end customer experiences. Um, so anything that would connect all of our different apps and websites and experiences that our customers have um, to bring a holistic experience to the end user. Um, so I work really closely across different teams like marketing and sales, product, technology, and even leadership to sort of identify what does that roadmap look like for them? Um, and how do we bring the best experience to our customers? Awesome. Um, well, we are really excited to learn more about that. And also, um, a, we'll learn a bit about her, the session that she will have at the conference. If this is your first time joining us in one of our Facebook Live episodes, please share where you're joining from. Um, I am personally in St. Louis, as always. Um, Kate, where are you joining from? New Jersey. Beautiful, oh. sunny New Jersey today. <laughs> and then we have our fabulous Stephanie Liu, who is uh, uh, hosting our show and running all the back end for us. She's in California. So we're all across the country today. So share where you are from. I see that Yvonne is joining us and she is from Sacramento. That sounds like a beautiful place to be right now. Um, and so if you have any questions at any point, please throw them into the comments and we will answer them throughout the chat. Um, or if you come up with a question afterwards, no worries. Again, just throw them in the comments and we'll catch them later afterwards. Um, all right. So let's dive into some questions. Uh, Kate, can you explain to us what product leadership really is? In a nutshell, it is building experiences and products that provide true value for your customers. So I think as marketers, and I have a, about a decade plus experience in digital marketing prior to this role at Johnson & Johnson, and I think as marketers, we're constantly um, trying to figure out what's the, how do we bring the most value uh, to our audiences? Who are they? What do they like? Um, and how are they going to stay engaged with our products over time, right? So product leadership is essentially sitting in between all these different teams that you work with on a daily basis that make up your organization. And you really have a lot of power to um, transform a business, right? Because it's the way anything between the way that you talk about your product or your service, the way you acquire customers, the end-to-end -end sales process, um, the experience someone has, right? When they're going through anything, any touch point that they have with your, your business. And that's all part of the product or service that you're offering, at least in your audience's mind, right? So the product leader essentially sits in the center of all of that, looking holistically holistically around from start to finish any touch point that your customer has is it beneficial to them is it providing value is it also solving their problem right is that experience helping solve their problem and in turn providing business value because of course you have more acquisition over time you have it more engagement over time so there's this huge shift now in the industry where marketers are becoming more like product leaders, right? They're responsible for the success or the failure of your product or service because, and extension, the company itself, right? Because now 
they're really helping helping enact and bring to life the company vision. Um, and so it's a really, really cool space to be in. Um, you know, product leaders are essentially they're they're responsible for selling the product vision um, and making sure that everyone. So you know, in my past and my present, working from again developers and technology, marketers, sales, leadership, that everybody is on the same page and aligned to what the future looks like, what we're working towards, and how we're actually building out new products and services based on that end-to-end -end experience. Awesome. Well, that sounds like very exciting and a very um, like fun challenge to constantly um, stay on top of and yes. try to figure out um, yes. in a changing market, um, which is a lot of what uh, us marketers do now. We're not just the traditional marketers. We have a lot of these different roles. Um, but in regards to us digital marketers, um, how would you say like why product leadership in particular is very relevant to digital marketers? Yeah, so I, um, I think it's increasingly important because of the rise of technology, right? We're expected now to bring an end-to-end -end experience. So you look at Amazon, it's a great example, it's an easy example. They focused on their customers and look at where they are today, just creating a really seamless customer experience. Anything that's easy, one-touch purchasing, um, things that are uh, you know, essentially fully connected end-to-end, -end, whether you're reading a book on your Kindle or you're buying something through Alexa when you're in your kitchen cooking, right? It's easy to do it all in one, and that's all under one ecosystem. So for digital marketers, it's really important as, you know, now that there's these set expectations with connected experiences through technology, that we're keeping up to par across the board, right? Marketing, owning our brand and our customer acquisition, and now oftentimes product teams that are owning the value prop and the development well, they're fully intertwined now, right? We, we need to now have the skill sets, not only in terms of business acumen, so solving the customer needs and being profitable, profitable, but also having the technology skills enough to understand, well, what are the latest trends? Where are their expectations now that other companies are building? And how do we stay up to par? And then how do we set a product vision in place that's differentiated and delivers value against our customer demands? So that's a lot there, right? I mean, there's a lot of expectation, but that's now put on the marketers. In fact, um, I, you know, for anyone that's seen the latest Salesforce state of marketing report for 2019 that just recently came out, it actually states that 80% of customers say the experience a company provides is as important as its product and services. And oftentimes you don't see one person overseeing all of that, right? You've got teams that are siloed, that are working to build products and services over time. Or let's say if as a marketer, you're owning SEO or website or content, but there's not necessarily one person owning everything from the services that your product teams are putting out to the message that your sales teams are sharing to everything that you, the media that your marketing teams um, are paying for, right? There's, there's not that holistic end-to-end -end view. So that's why it's really important to digital marketers to understand how this is all so closely related and that really the sum of all the interactions of your brand are what your brand consists of now. It's not just one product, it's not one service, it's not one ad. It's all of it together. And so how do you work together better as a team? How do you bring all of these people together and influence what that experience looks like moving forward? That's why it's so important for digital marketers to have a true sense of what product leadership actually is, because it's really what their role is going to be in the next five to 10 years. Oh, that is so exciting. And I can't, I can't agree more. I am such an advocate for not siloing marketing into, you know, just its own department. It is so critical for it to be in customer support and customer service and in sales and product, you know, those who are creating the product and um, for everything to work together. You know, we right. really can't be siloed off anymore. Right. Um, but and oftentimes you see that too, right? I mean, I'm sure a lot of you out there are already doing that role already. And so it's also sort of understanding, well, how do we do it better? And that's something that I want to cover in our in our uh, in the talk is that 
there are tried and true ways of making this easier on yourself. It's a lot harder because people oftentimes don't want to work together. They do like their silos. This is their runway. Get out of my way. And so there's mm-hmm. there's techniques that we can um, help employ, right? So that marketing becomes more of the focus, um, but also kind of repositions itself to again just be the customer focus voice um, throughout the company. Oh, definitely. Um- Um, uh, yep. Am I back? Okay. I got <laughs> my freeze up. Okay. Um, if you can hear me or not, let me know. Hold on. Okay. Um, so what is a great product leader? So there's three things that we're going to cover in the talk um, in more detail, but from a high level, it's really um, having incredibly good understanding of the strategy, right? What's the vision of the company? What are you trying to achieve on a day-to-day basis? What are you working towards as a team? Being inspirational, um, because again, you're the center of all of these different teams, right? You're working across design and UX and ideation and technology, and you need to bring all of these people together to work towards that greater goal. And then you also need to be consistently customer focused and testing in the market, right? So this is where we're going to kind of touch a little bit upon agile. I saw that there were a few other, um, Uh, presentations around that too. And that's something that I spoke about last year at MDMC was how do you actually execute? How do you test and learn? And how do you continually get that customer feedback so that you know you're working in the right direction? You know that you're providing value and then you're making data driven decisions based off of that. So there's a lot of storyline around, you know, being the visionary, being the influencer and being that voice for the customer um, and being able to execute on that. Awesome. So I hope you guys can <laughs> see me and hear me again. Um, love technology. Um, so awesome. So we got a little bit of a sneak peek into what Kate is going to cover in her session this year. Um, before we dive into some more questions, let's also take a sneak peek at what you can expect from the conference that is happening next week here in St. Louis, um, April 17th and 18th with pre-conference workshops on April 16th. Let's take a sneak peek. So there was a quick sneak peek at what you can expect uh, at the Midwest Digital Marketing Conference. This year is our seventh year, and we are the largest digital marketing conference in the Midwest. Um, We have sold out of General Plus and VIP passes, but we do still have General Passes, which get you access to all of the breakout sessions and the keynotes and the parties and the exhibitor hall. So you can still attend absolutely everything. and they're $169, um, but we they are selling fast. So if you guys want one, just head to bestmarketingconference.com. Um, and we hope to see you there. But I'm going to jump back, actually, to a quick question I had about something that Kate said earlier um, about, you know, becoming um, a product leader. Kate, what does it take to become a product leader? It's being really, really passionate about your vision, caring a lot about um what you're working towards, right? So the company that um, you're working for and what their services or what their product is and understanding, right? Getting psyched on that vision and understanding that all these teams have to come together um, to actually execute something really awesome. I mean, honestly, I think so so often do we get distracted by our day-to-day tactical tasks that we sort of forget 
why we're so excited about our, you know, why we're in the role that we're in. And, um, and this sort of taps back into the excitement, the passion, how to keep that alive and how to make that really good for the customer, which again, in turn, makes you really powerful at your company, right? Because you're bringing in dollars for your company and you're bringing in higher engagement and value for your customers. Um, so I, again, am really excited to sort of dive in with tangible examples, with data, with storylines. I think um, there's a lot to cover there. Um, and, uh, you know, the real takeaway is really going to be learning those tangible ways um, to use, use the skill sets that you have and work on other skill sets, right, that will um, impact both your customer and your experience over time. Awesome. Well, I am personally very excited about this um, as a uh, digital marketer and b 2 B2B marketer. I I just find this fascinating. Um, so for those that are thinking about attending your session, the future of the future leader, how marketers are impacting innovation to transform their business, um, who would you say would best be a best fit for the session? So, you know, is it someone who isn't B2B or B2C, someone maybe more advanced, or would this be relevant to intro um, marketers who are just kind of joining the field? Yeah, so I I We'll always say that anybody that's really passionate and motivated to be problem solvers should attend. I would never say, you know, if you're, or, you know, entry level, don't come. If you're CEO, don't come. But um, because I think this is new, this is new to the industry. It's not something that's highly specified. It's really something that is a transition, I think, for all industry members. So if you're entry level, you can figure out, hey, look, what does my future look like? If you are mid or senior level, you need to be looking to build your teams with skill sets like this that are diverse in both business and technology and communication acumen, right? To be able to be much more influential across your teams, to be able to connect team members, um, to be very customer focused, but based off of data. So you're going to need people that, you know, I think the if you're the big picture thinker, if you're trying to transform your team or your business from more of a traditional marketing to the new age of technology and digital, um, you're going to want to hear this, right? You just get sort of this overview around what does building an ecosystem actually look like, a connected ecosystem, um, and what are the skill sets that you need on the team to do that effectively? Awesome. So yeah, if you guys feel like that is what you're passionate about and you definitely want to learn more, add Kate's session to your schedule. Um, if you've already signed up for the conference um, or if you have not yet, you will get instructions on how to build out your schedule in our conference system. It'll be, you can build it in your browser, on your computer, or within the conference app, which we'll be announcing um, in the next couple days. So uh, you can just click to add Kate's session. Um, and then Kate, um, who else are you when you're not preparing for your session or in your session? Um, who else are you excited to see at the conference this year? So I think I mentioned before, I saw some agile marketing uh, sessions that are super exciting to see that that's catching on. I know that that has been in some of the previous companies that I've been at, we're very heavily working in agile. Um, and there's a huge transition and, and change management around that. So that being talked about in more of these conferences is huge and really important. Customer experience with AI, I think, is really cool. Again, that's part of a lot of the work that we're doing in product leadership. What is the what do those new technologies look like and how do you adopt them? Um, and then panels around data and data-driven decisions. You know, that to me is also marketing is so often considered this cost center and that's difficult to kind of manage what this, uh, what, what your, what value you're bringing over time. And so I think really being able to tie that back to data and especially with the data that we're capturing um, around our customers is just incredible. And we've got so much at our fingertips now. And then lastly, the keynote speaker, Daryl West, just seems really cool. This divided politics, polarization from social media. And I personally just want to learn about that because I swear it's like in our daily lives and it's uh, just seems really interesting. 
Awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, there's definitely sessions on all that. And yeah, we're really excited about our awesome keynote speakers. So you guys definitely don't want to miss it. Um, and I have one question uh, just for myself, and then we'll check to see if there's any other questions. I know uh, this is definitely not your first year uh, coming to MDMC. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say makes MDMC different than um, a lot of the other conferences? And, and why do you like coming to this one in particular? Yeah, so I um, I got to experience it last year and it was absolutely phenomenal. I think there's a few key things about MDMC that I really like. Um, it is, first off, everybody is incredibly approachable and there's a lot of events that are focused around networking, right? So just connecting with others, which honestly is the best way for me to learn what's happening in the industry um, amongst my peers um, and getting introduced to new ideas. Secondly, um, all of this is very tangible, right? So a lot of these, they're not theory-based, it's not all strategy. Um, they're definitely sprinkled in, right? Which is really great. But a lot of these talks um, and sessions are really around going back to your business and being able to implement immediately. And I think that that's really important because we can take the time at conferences and sort of have that release um, from our day-to-day -day tactical. But this is, these are things, tools and techniques that we can bring back. Um, and that's really important. So I'm super excited to be a part of this again. Um, I think this conference is incredible. And you guys the way that you've grown it year over year too is absolutely phenomenal. So props to all of you guys for how much work you've been putting into this. It's really showing. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Um, you know, it's it's a crazy, crazy road and and roller coaster <laughs> of getting the, this conference yeah. to where it is. Um, but that it definitely is something that we're passionate about is making it a great networking event for all levels. Um, whether you're a student or you're a CEO, and having you know content that you actually can you know take back um, and use at work. Because that's personally me. When I go to a conference, I want to. I want to go back to work and actually implement this stuff. Right. So I always joke, I kind of create my, my ideal conference. Um, <laughs> we do have a question um, from Tom Harness, who is one of our panelists this year. And he is always a big fan of MDMC. So, hey, Tom. Um, how important is influencer marketing going to have on health and wellness industry as far as marketing goes, in your opinion? So it's a great question. Um, when I was working in health and wellness, um, it was, we were actually building a brand from the, the ground up, but um, influencer marketing is hugely important. I mean, you see it in the fashion industry um, and see it actually completely changing the fashion industry, right? And same thing with health and wellness. Um, and so, uh, you know, it's incredible that in, you know, to be honest, it's incredible that influencers have gotten this type of voice um, and can get as far as they do. I think it's really, really cool and empowering to everybody that if you're just passionate, again, if you're really passionate about what you're doing, um, you can go really anywhere, right? And and a lot of the team members, um, myself included, we were we were sort of going out and and experimenting with all these, testing a lot of what these influencers were doing just across Instagram and any type of social channel, right? Getting in touch with them and sort of taking their programs and running with it. Like, what does this actually work? What does it look like? Um, and how do we how do we incorporate them into uh, the brand that we're building? So, um, you know, we we've seen great bounds and leaps with um, with influencer marketing and health and wellness. Awesome. Well, great. Then, yeah, it all comes back together. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Let's see if there's any more. Um, it doesn't look like it. But again, if you guys have any questions that come to mind, um, I know we talked about a lot today, so your minds are probably just trying to process everything. Um, if you have any questions, just throw them in the comments, and we will make sure to answer them and make sure to check out Kate's session. It sounds so interesting. Um, and if you haven't got your ticket yet, please, again, go to bestmarketingconference.com, and we really hope to see you there next week. 
crazy it's next week um Eva, thank you again kate so much for joining us i thank really enjoyed talking me. to you today uh, and thank you again to stephanie for always being our fabulous host and helping us run our show and we will see everyone next week at the conference and next monday for our very last mdmc facebook live episode great thank you guys for having me thanks have a great day everyone